Okay, since I got this new toy and I'm recapping it right quick because it looks like all it needs is some um, caps and maybe a little clean and a little dusty, but fairly clean. And um, even though they didn't ship it in the uh, greatest packing job, but they did use a little bit of bubble wrap and a too small box, but it survived. So I guess I'm happy. I don't know when people are going to learn how to ship. But anyway since I got the high voltage board out of this it came out it's three wires that was connected to it and since I um, recapping it just disconnected the three wires to pull this board out and I'm like well it's a good time to go through um, caps and high voltage power supplies right quick this is nothing deep um, you know if you're a ham operator or electronic genius already this is very basic stuff you know stuff that anybody that sticks their hands in ought to know but anyway going through some caps and and you know high voltage power supplies for a sweep tube amp most sweep tubes and a sweep tube is an old TV tube like this back in the day they used these tubes when they um for TVs when TVs were tube type they used this to um make the dots sweep across the strings the screen on a um, tube type TV this made the dots sweep across and hence why they called it a sweep tube so back in the TV tube tube type TV days these tubes were available cheap and plentiful but since they stopped making tube type TVs they pretty much stopped making the tubes and now since um, CBers still use them for ham amps um, the tubes are getting harder and harder to find and getting more and more expensive so that's where the term sweep tubes come from from the old term from TV tubes but anyway most of these type of amps whether it's got one or whether it's got you know 15 of these tubes in it they still you know run off about 900 volts give or take you know some less some a lot less and some a little more but you know you start getting you know past 900 a thousand that's about all these tubes can take period you can't you know run you know 1500 2000 volts on these tubes it will surely short them and kill them um, so anyway the power supply for these sweep tubes amps which run off 900 volts and basically electric lytic capacitors um, pretty much the highest voltage they do have 500 volt ones and even 600 volt ones but they get more and more expensive to make 500 volt and 600 volt so the common one that's used is a 450 volt capacitor so that's all the voltage you can run off uh, one of these capacitors and that's the max or peak volts that you want to put in there is 450 so what do you do when you got an amp like you know this one running on 900 volts well, what they do is they put three of these type of capacitors. These are the original uh, capacitors from this amp. You put three of them in series. And when you hit them in series, you're, hit, you're hooking um, positive. This is positive side here, negative to positive to negative to positive to negative. And this is ground over here. So these three are in series. And as you um, um, hook them in series, you multiply the voltage so um, since I got three caps and these are also 450 volt um, caps so I would have 450 times 3 900 1350 volts and we want a safety margin so if I'm running 900 into it you know I want a safety margin I don't want to run them right at their max rating so usually in a sweep tube amp like this you will see um, three caps or sometimes you might see two banks of three caps but usually in a sweep tube amp you will see three caps and that's why because one cap can't handle that voltage so they put three of them in series in a sweep tube amp but the um, other part about that is when you put caps like these in series it divides the UF number so these originals here had 40 UFs so originally um, this cap you know still had the 1350 volt rating with these three in series but since you divide 
the UFs by the number you have, it would be 40 divided by 3, which would be what, about 13.3? So that would be the total UFs used for this amp. So since it's a small, you know, two tube amp, probably do 50, 100 watts, you don't need a lot of UFs um, for it. But anyway, since caps are smaller and more powerful now, more condensed, and they're a lot cheaper than they used to be back in the day. Um, I replaced these with some I had laying around, which are 100 UFs. So now I got three 100 UFs divided by three. So I went from, um, um, I pretty much over doubled the amount of UFs. So now it's going to be 33 UFs in total with these in series at 1350 volts, which should power this amp pretty good. Um, and this is just to give you a size of the caps. This is an old 450 volt at 40 UF and these are 450 volt at 100. So about two and a half the UFs or capacitance, same voltage and you can see the um, size difference. So they make them a lot more compact now. They you know have shrunk down the caps and again they're a lot cheaper. If you put them in parallel where you hit hook um, positive to positive and negative to negative like if we soldered all three together um, this way um, that's all the negative sides if we hook all the negatives together and all the positives together that would be in parallel um, but the problem there is it would still be just 450 volts you wouldn't gain any volts so the max I could run to it was 450 but then you would um, multiply the UF so 40 times 3 so uh, then I would have 120 UFs at 450 volt if you put them all in parallel and the other thing about this board is you got the um, diodes here and these are in a bridge configuration it's using two for each um, um, bridge point because a bridge only you needs um, four diodes but again this amp runs about 900 volts and these diodes can run at a thousand volts so you're again at your near your max capacity so it puts two diodes in series um, so you got basically two banks of four in a way to speak that's not the correct terminology but um, it uses two legs in each of these um, two diodes in each leg of this bridge um, here, so I got a 2,000 volt um, um, factor. Um, and you got your small bleeders here. One across each capacitor. And then it's got one more bleeder from um, the positive to ground. And over here, this is just a surge capacitor. Uh, any big surge or spike or anything go in there, this capacitor uh, uh, take it to ground. It's the theory. And then that's just about it for this um, high voltage power supply for a um, sweep tube amp. Bye.